to sift through the ashes, Armangero. Corroboros! I stayed my hand until you could see this ruin for yourself. This pain is something that I cannot inflict upon you in Beator. Here is where she played in her youth. There is where she slept. And in your sanctuary is where her body now lies, grave and tomb. If you have come for retribution, you are a fool. That you would think I would allow you to remain unpunished for my imprisonment, that is foolish. Perhaps in your cowardly burrow, you commanded power, but not here. You should have enjoyed your freedom while you could. You know I'm more than a match for you. Your skill in the craft is sufficient to give me pause. True. But I have learned from my mistakes while you are still making them, I think. You. What are you doing here? This one. This one was present at her death as well. Ha. Ah, all loose ends. Tied together at once. I thank you for these gifts, Amon. You will have company as you burn in the hells. I don't recall asking you to come with me. I won't bother asking how you knew I was here. You always seem to be underfoot, interfering with everything. True. I had not thought to be ambushed here, but it is the nature of the Lower Plains to harbor grudges once humiliated. In any event, to waste time trading words with you is not why I came here. You're mistaken, of course. No, there is something I placed here long ago that may be of use in our war now. Is it all it means to me? Yes. I never knew this place. Never knew my niece until you brought her to me. So should I feel something as I look at this place? I think not. It is a burnt ruin, and I've seen many of these strewn with corpses. Some caused by me, but many more caused by the King of Shadows. So it affects me little. That is because I know there will be hundreds, thousands, countless more unless the King of Shadows is stopped. And he must be stopped if people are to live. Ah, and so you pass judgment on me yet again. Do you realize how you sound, or are you deaf to it? As you condemn my actions, Perhaps you should ask yourself how well you knew her. Really knew her. Indeed. Because from all that I have heard, you are constantly placing her in danger, and you know very little about her at all. So your preaching is not only irritating me, it is a hypocrisy I commonly observe in the Neverwinter nobility. Captain. Very well, I am listening. That... That was a great deal more than I thought. She could have remained here and been safe, but yet she followed you. Why? Still, despite what you have said, she is still the reason why I have to fight this war. Because no one else has the strength to do it, or is willing to make the choices that I can. I did what I had to do, always. They were hard decisions, but they had to be made by someone. And if no one would do it, I would. And before you judge me for my crimes, Perhaps you should look back. The trail of dead behind you is long indeed, hero of Neverwinter. Ask yourself truly, 
if everything you have done has been done because you believe it was right. And then ask yourself if, because of it, the innocent have suffered. Yet your actions? Would you change them if you had to do them over? I did what I had to do, always. Always. The King of Shadows must be stopped. There is no middle ground in this. To save Neverwinter, of course. They didn't move fast enough, see the threat for what it was, so I acted. You're right. I won't argue it with you anymore. I will not condemn all I have done, but there are times I have acted rashly, and innocents have paid the price. It is pride, and it is arrogance. And I do wish I had known Chandra, even for a short while. I had thought her lost in the war, you know. And in the end, she was. I am sorry, Chandra. Wherever you walk now, forgive me. It seems the land has answered me. This looks to be a pendant of some sort. No, I have found what I was looking for. <laughs>